Okay, now in section 5.3, we're still going to be factoring trinomials, except now we're going to assume that the coefficient on the x squared term is not equal to 1. So we're still going to be factoring these degree 2 trinomials. So it's going to be in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, except that a value is not going to be equal to 1. So there's going to be two main ways to do this. This first way is going to be the better way, which is the way that I'll be doing it. Uh, so method 1. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be rewriting the expression and then we're going to be factoring it by grouping. So we're going to start with the trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c. What we're going to do is we're going to split up the b term and rewrite it with two other terms. So instead of bx, we're going to have something x plus something else x. And then we're going to factor it by grouping. So we have to figure out what those two blanks are. So those two blanks are going to be numbers. They have to be numbers that multiply to a times c, the a value times the c value, and they also have to add to the b value that we originally split up. So what we're doing is we're just rewriting that bx term, we're splitting it up. Once we have it split up correctly, we'll be able to factor it by grouping. So that's the first way we'll do it. Well, that's the way that I'm going to be doing it in these examples. Another way to do it is with trial and error. And the way that you do it is you can set it up starting with ax squared plus bx plus c. You can set it up as blank x plus or minus something times blank x plus or minus something, where once again, these blanks represent numbers. So the blanks, the first blank in each binomial here multiplies the a, and the second blank in each binomial multiply to c. So the, there's going to be multiple ways that will satisfy those conditions for each one. So you'll have a whole bunch of different options. Then you would have to FOIL out each option, and whichever one gives you what you started with, that's the correct factored version. So that one is a little bit longer, so I'm not going to be doing it that way. I'll be doing it method one way. And I put a little note at the bottom, always try to factor out a GCF first. So let's go ahead and do these examples. So for the first one, we want to factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. So it is a trinomial. It is a three-termed polynomial, degree 2, so highest exponent of 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this term, A, look at this term, C. I'm going to multiply these over here. 2 times 6 equals 12. So whatever numbers that we pick have to multiply to 12, and then they have to add to the 7. So remember, all we're doing is chopping up that middle term. So they have to multiply to a times c. So this is a times c, and they have to add to b. Okay, so I'm going to set this up just rewriting the first term, 2x squared. It's going to be plus something x plus something else x plus 6. So splitting up that middle term. So we have to think what two numbers multiply to 12 that add to 7. That's going to be 4 and 3. So it doesn't matter which one you put where. It ends up being the same thing. So 4 times 3 is 12. 4 plus 3 is 7. So now we're going to do this by grouping. So I'm going to group the first two terms, 2x squared plus 4x. Group the second two terms, 3x plus 6. GCF in the first binomial is 2x. We're left with x plus 2. GCF in the second one is 3. We're left with x plus 2. And now we can factor out that x plus 2. And then we're going to be left with the 2x plus 3. So there is our factored version of that trinomial, x plus 2 times 2x plus 3. Okay, you can FOIL that to make sure it's correct, too, make sure you get what we started with. So let's do another one. We have 8x squared minus 10x minus 3. So once again, we're going to be setting this up as 8x squared. We're going to chop up the x term plus something x plus something else x minus 3. The numbers that we're picking are going to have to multiply to a times c, which is 8 times negative 3, which is negative 24. 
and they have to add to b, which is negative 10. So two numbers that multiply to negative 24 that, that also add to negative 10 are going to be negative 12 and positive 2. So I'm going to group this now, group the first two, 8x squared minus 12x plus 2x minus 3. The GCF from the first group is going to be 4x, which means we're left with 2x minus 3 plus that 2x minus 3. So we didn't have to fit, there was no GCF in the second group, which is fine because that's what we wanted it to be anyway based on the first one. So now we can factor out this 2x minus 3, and we're left with 4x plus 1. So for that second 2x plus 3, right there, there's technically plus 1, so that's why we have that plus 1. Okay, next one we have negative 7 plus 6y squared plus 19y. So first, let's rewrite this as 6y squared plus 19y minus 7. So we rewrote it in standard form. So now we need to think of two numbers that multiply to a times c, which is going to be 6 times negative 7, which is negative 42. And they have to add to b, which is positive 19. Okay, so we're going to set this up as 6y squared plus something y plus something else y minus 7. So just splitting up that 19. So two numbers that multiply to negative 42 that also add to 19 are going to be 21 and negative 2. Okay, so let's do this with grouping again. 6y squared plus 21y plus negative 2y minus 7. So we have to be careful with that plus the negative. GCF in the first group looks like it's going to be 3y, and we're left with y or 2y plus 7. And then for that second group, we can factor out a negative 1, so minus, and then we're left with 2y plus 7. Okay, and then we have that GCF of 2y plus 7, so we factor that out front, and then we're left with 3y minus 1. So once again, there's technically a negative 1 right there. We don't write it in the previous one, but we have to write it in the next one, so 3y minus 1. Okay, so that is our factored version of, of that one. Let's do two more. So 6x to the fifth plus 16x to the fourth plus 8x cubed. Okay, so for this one, what we have to do is factor out GCF first. So always see if there's a GCF. In this case, there is. The GCF is going to be 2x cubed. And then we think about what's left over. We're dividing it out, so we're left with 3x squared plus 8x plus 4. And now what's left inside of that parentheses, we can factor the same way we've been doing it. So the 2x cubed is just coming along for the ride. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop up this 8x as blank x plus blank x plus 4. And now we have to think about what those blanks are going to be. So a times c is going to be 3 times 4, which is 12. And the b value was 8. So we need two numbers that multiply to 12 that also add to 8. That's going to be 6 and 2. So 3x squared plus 6x plus 2x plus 4. And now setting this up with grouping, it's going to be 3x squared plus 6x in a group plus that 2x plus 4 in a group. So a couple sets of parentheses here. And then factoring out a GCF from that first group, we're going to get 3x. We're left with x plus 2. Factor out a 2 from the next one, and then we're left with x plus 2. So now, pretty much done, we factor out an x plus 2, and we're left with 3x 
plus 2. Okay, so 2x cubed times x plus 2 times 3x plus 2. So a little bit messier, but um, pretty much the same thing. Let's do one more here. So 8x squared plus 6x minus 9. So we're going to be chopping up that 6x. So it's going to be 8x squared plus blank x plus blank x minus 9. So for those blanks that are in here, it's going to be two numbers that multiply to 8 times negative 9, which gives us negative 72. And they also have to add to that x, that 6, that 6x. So two numbers that multiply to negative 72 that add to 6 are going to be uh, positive 12 and negative 6. Okay, so chopping this up with grouping, it's going to be 8x squared plus 12x plus negative 6x minus 9. So the GCF from the first group is going to be 4x, and then we're left with 2x plus 3. From the next group, we can factor out a negative 3, and we'll be left with 2x plus 3. We factor out that 2x plus 3, and we're left with 4x minus 3. So the factored version is 2x plus 3 times 4x minus 3. Okay, so that's it for section 5.3. It's just factoring by grouping. You just have to do that one first step of chopping up the, that x term.